T.I. Jones there. In a decade overflowing with legendary cartoons, it's easy for some to slip through the cracks, lost to the sands of time. But today, we're resurrecting some of these forgotten classics, giving them the recognition they deserve. From daring adventurers to cosmic crusaders, these cartoons have it all, action, humor, and heart. So join us as we get nostalgic about the 13 forgotten cartoons from the 1980s that we want back. And the masters of the universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia, defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. Number one, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. The enchanting allure of Eternia. Travel back with us to the golden era of Saturday mornings, where the battle between good and evil unfolded in the fantastical realm of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. In those cherished mornings of the 1980s, we eagerly gathered around our television sets, eyes wide with anticipation as the heroic Prince Adam transformed into the mighty He-Man with the empowering declaration, by the power of Grayskull. By the power of Grayskull! I have the power! With every episode, we embarked on thrilling adventures alongside He-Man, the valiant defender of Castle Greyskull and his loyal companions like the courageous Battle Cat and the cunning Sorceress. The animation may have been simple by today's standards, but how it ignited our imaginations. We cheered as He-Man wielded his iconic power sword, conquering evil with each mighty swing. And who could forget the heart-pounding battles that ensued, filled with lasers, magic, and the unmistakable sound effects that still echo in our memories. Yet, it wasn't just the action that captivated us, but the timeless lessons woven into each episode. Through He-Man and his allies' trials, we learned about courage, friendship, and the enduring power of good triumphing over evil. As the theme song resonated through our living rooms, we were transported to a world where the bonds of friendship prevailed against all odds. Let's journey back to the wondrous era of a powerful princess. Number two, She-Ra, Princess of Power. In those cherished days of our youth, we eagerly tuned in to witness the remarkable adventures of Princess Adora, He-Man's twin sister, who transformed into the mighty She-Ra with a resounding cry, for the honor of Grayskull. With every episode, we were whisked away to the enchanted world of Etheria, where She-Ra and her brave allies, the Great Rebellion, stood against the tyranny of the evil Hordak and his sinister horde. Together, they defended freedom and justice with unwavering courage and indomitable spirit. The animation held a special magic that captivated our hearts. We cheered as She-Ra wielded her iconic Sword of Protection, battling the forces of darkness with grace and strength. It wasn't just the thrilling battles that captured our hearts, but the empowering message woven into each episode. She-Ra's adventures taught us the importance of bravery, compassion, and standing up for what is right. I am She-Ra! She-Ra, Princess of Power, wasn't just a cartoon, it was a cherished part of our childhood. A reminder of a time when imagination knew no bounds, and when a heroine like She-Ra inspired us to believe in our strength and potential. And who could forget the mighty roar of the Thundercats? Number 3. Thundercats. Picture a time when our eyes were glued to the television screen, eagerly awaiting the adventures of Lion-O, Tigra, Panthro, Chitara, and the rest of the Thundercats. Thundercats! Oh! With their unforgettable battle cry of Thundercats Ho, these noble feline warriors captivated our hearts and souls. In the mystical land of Third Earth, the Thundercats defended themselves against the evil forces of Mumra, the ancient and malevolent sorcerer. Armed with their Thunder Tank and guided by the wise Jaga, the Thundercats embarked on daring quests to protect the Eye of Thundera and uphold justice throughout the land. Who could forget the iconic characters like the mysterious Snarf, 
the lovable and loyal companion, or the fearsome villains like Slythe and the mutants. Thundercats was a cultural phenomenon that still holds a special place in our hearts today. So let's raise our Sword of Omens high and salute the Thundercats, for they will forever be the guardians of our memories, reminding us of a time when anything was possible. The power of friendship could conquer any obstacle. Thundercats ho, now we're stepping back into the glorious era of the Defender of the Universe. The Legend of Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Number 4. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. In the cosmic era of the 80s, one legend shone brighter than the stars themselves, the epic saga of Voltron, Defender of the Universe. For those of us who reveled in the wonders of that era, Voltron was a celestial symphony of adventure, friendship, and cosmic battles against the forces of darkness. Picture it, a universe teeming with life where the noble pilots of the robotic lions, Keith, Lance, Pidge, Hunk, and the courageous princess Allura, stood as the last line of defense against the tyranny of Emperor Zarkon and his diabolical empire. Together, they embarked on daring missions across the cosmos, their lion ships soaring through the endless expanse of space. But the true magic of Voltron lay in the awe-inspiring transformation of these mechanical marvels. As danger loomed and the call to action rang out, the robotic lions would converge, each one a marvel of engineering and bravery in its own right. With a thunderous roar, they merged, forming the mighty Voltron, a towering colossus of gleaming metal and cosmic power, ready to face any challenge that dared to threaten the universe. With each transformation, we were drawn deeper into the heart of the action, our pulses quickening as Voltron's blazing sword clashed against the dark forces of evil. But amidst the epic battles and dazzling spectacle, the characters truly stole the show. From Keith's unwavering leadership to Lance's reckless courage, from Pidge's brilliant intellect to Hunk's steadfast loyalty, and from Princess Allura's grace and determination to the enigmatic wisdom of Corrin, each team member brought their unique strengths to the fight. Looking back, Voltron, defender of the universe remains a cherished memory, proof of the power of teamwork, bravery, and the indomitable human spirit. Let's reminisce further with the thrilling adventures of G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe was there, G.I. Joe, American hero, G.I. Joe was there. Number 5, G.I. Joe, a real American hero. For 80s kids, this animated series was beyond just a cartoon. It was a rallying cry and a call to action. Set against the backdrop of a world threatened by the nefarious Cobra organization, G.I. Joe brought to life a team of elite soldiers and heroes who stood ready to defend freedom and justice at any cost. With their motto, knowing is half the battle echoing in our minds, we eagerly tuned in to witness the courageous exploits of Duke, Scarlet, Snake Eyes, and the rest of the G.I. Joe team. Each pulse-pounding adventure was filled with daring rescues, high-stakes missions, and epic showdowns between the forces of good and evil. Whether battling the ruthless Cobra Commander, the seductive Baroness, or the menacing Destro, G.I. Joe constantly eagerly engaged us. Through G.I. Joe, we learned about sacrifice, honor, and the importance of standing up for what is right, a message that resonated deeply with us then and continues to do so today. He never gets up. He's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe! As we look back on those nostalgic evenings spent cheering on our favorite heroes, we're reminded of a time when the world seemed more straightforward and the line between good and evil was clear. G.I. Joe, a real American hero may have been just a cartoon, but to us it was so much more. It was a symbol of bravery, patriotism, and the indomitable spirit of the American people. And who could ever forget the Transformers? Number 6. Transformers. Amidst the dynamic landscape of the 80s, two legendary figures emerged as pillars within the tumultuous world of the Transformers, Optimus Prime and Megatron. Optimus Prime, the noble and wise leader of the Autobots, embodied the ideals of courage, honor, and selflessness. With his towering presence and unwavering commitment to justice, 
Optimus Prime inspired generations of fans with his iconic catchphrase, Autobots, roll out. Autobots, roll out. He led his fellow Autobots with compassion and determination, always putting the needs of others above his own. Whether battling the Decepticons on the front lines or guiding his team through the darkest times, Optimus Prime symbolized the best of heroism and leadership. On the other side of the battlefield stood Megatron, the cunning and ruthless leader of the Decepticons. With his insatiable thirst for power and unyielding ambition, Megatron stopped at nothing to conquer the universe and crush anyone who dared to oppose him. His towering presence and menacing red optics struck fear into the hearts of all who crossed his path, and his relentless pursuit of victory made him a formidable adversary for the Autobots. Despite his criminal nature, Megatron's cunning intellect and strategic prowess made him a force to be reckoned with, ensuring that every encounter with the Decepticons was a battle for the universe's fate. As Optimus Prime and Megatron clashed in epic battles that spanned the cosmos, they became symbols of hope and fear, respectively, for fans of Transformers. Their dynamic rivalry fueled audiences' imaginations and added depth to the ongoing saga of the Autobots and Decepticons, making Transformers not just a cartoon, but a timeless epic of heroism and villainy that continues to resonate with audiences today. When we reminisce about cartoons from the 80s, it's impossible not to mention the ninjas. Number 7. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The electrifying 80s, a time when the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ruled the airwaves with their breathtaking adventures. Join Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo as they leap into action to battle the evil Shredder and his Foot Clan in the gritty streets of New York City. Every adventure with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was a whirlwind of excitement, with the fearless foursome showcasing their ninja skills in epic battles against the forces of evil. With Leonardo leading the charge, Donatello's tech savvy, Raphael's fierce combat prowess, and Michelangelo's quick wit, they were an unstoppable force against any foe that dared to threaten their city. From rooftop skirmishes to underground showdowns, the Turtles faced off against a rogue's gallery of villains, including the menacing mutants Bebop and Rocksteady and the diabolical Krang with his monstrous Technodrome. Armed with their trusty weapons and fueled by their determination, the Turtles fought with all their might to protect the innocent and uphold justice. I can't help it, this crystal tracker is very sensitive. See if that gizmo's got a setting for food, bud. I could use a pizza break. As the turtles clashed with their adversaries in heart-stopping action sequences, we were glued to our screens, eagerly anticipating each thrilling encounter. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was an adrenaline-fueled spectacle that kept us glued to the screen, craving more non-stop action and dynamic characters. Now we're diving into the world of the Smurfs. Long, long ago, deep in the forest, there was a hidden village where tiny creatures lived. They call themselves Smurfs. Number 8. The Smurfs. Exploring the enchanting world of the Smurfs is essential for recalling the delightful memories of the 1980s. For those who spent their childhoods in this magical decade, these tiny blue creatures were more than just characters on a screen. They were companions who filled the days with laughter and joy. Set in the whimsical Smurf village, nestled deep within the forest, the Smurfs introduced us to a lovable cast of characters, from the wise Papa Smurf to the mischievous Smurfette, and of course the bumbling yet endearing villain Gargamel and his loyal cat Azrael. Among the villagers, there were also memorable personalities like Brainy, the know-it-all Smurf, who often found himself in comical predicaments due to his enormous ego, and Hefty, the strong and brave Smurf, whose courage inspired us all. Whether it was Brainy's over-the-top schemes or Hefty's daring feats, they added an extra layer of excitement and fun to the adventures of the Smurfs. Whether they were outsmarting Gargamel's schemes, embarking on exciting quests, or celebrating the simple joys of village life, the Smurfs captured our imaginations and warmed our hearts. And who could forget the infectious theme song that filled our living rooms with its catchy melody?
So here's to Papa Smurf, Smurfette, Brainy, Hefty, and all the Smurfs, for they will forever hold a special place in our hearts, reminding us of the magic of childhood and the joy of friendship. Let's Smurf some Sarsaparilla. Over now to the ultimate detective. Good work, Gadget. We've got the whole gang. And the money, too. Thanks, Chief. Your plan worked perfectly. Number 9. Inspector Gadget. In a time when gadgets were the stuff of dreams, Inspector Gadget was the ultimate detective. Armed with an arsenal of quirky gadgets that often led to even quirkier situations. Imagine tagging along with Inspector Gadget, his brilliant niece Penny, and their faithful four-legged companion Brain as they embark on thrilling missions to thwart the plans of the dastardly Dr. Claw and his criminal organization, MAD. From bustling city streets to remote corners of the globe, each adventure was filled with excitement and danger. Inspector Gadget's gadgets were always at the heart of the action, ranging from the ingenious to the downright absurd. Whether the helicopter hat saved the day or the extendable arms caused chaos, you could never predict what gadget would come in handy next. And while Inspector Gadget often stumbled through his investigations, Penny and Brain were always there to lend a helping hand using their smarts and resourcefulness to outwit the villains and save the day. As we journeyed alongside Inspector Gadget and his companions, we entered a realm where limitless possibilities unfolded. Inspector Gadget was a gateway to endless adventures and opportunities, reminding us that heroes come in all shapes and sizes and that even the most unlikely heroes can save the day. Their tales of Inspector Gadget and his companions may have ended with each episode, but the memories they left behind are still fresh. Get ready because our next journey is whisking us away to Duckburg. Number 10. DuckTales. In the good old days, our imaginations soared high with the adventures of Scrooge McDuck and his daring nephews in DuckTales. Set in the vibrant city of Duckburg, DuckTales whisked us away on thrilling escapades alongside Scrooge McDuck, the richest duck in the world, and his mischievous nephews Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Together with their fearless pilot Launchpad McQuack and the ever-loyal butler Duckworth, they embarked on epic quests to uncover ancient treasures, solve mysteries, and outwit villains like the bumbling Beagle Boys and the conniving Flintheart Glomgold. Whether exploring ancient ruins, battling supernatural foes, or outsmarting greedy adversaries, the DuckTales gang always kept us on the edge of our seats with their daring exploits and quick thinking. But it wasn't just the action that captivated us, it was also the colorful characters and the richly imagined world of Duckburg. She... she likes me! And she doesn't even know me! That's one of the reasons she likes you! This isn't going to work! From the eccentric genius of Gyro Gearloose to the feisty adventurer Webby Vanderquack, each character brought their unique charm to the series, making DuckTales a joy to watch for audiences of all ages. Who remembers the real Ghostbusters? <laughs> Number 11. The real Ghostbusters Enter a realm where the spectral and the extraordinary collide, the world of the real Ghostbusters. Born from the blockbuster movie, this animated series of the 80s captivated audiences with its blend of supernatural encounters and ghost-busting heroics. Set against the iconic backdrop of New York City, we join the fearless quartet of paranormal experts. The suave Peter Venkman, the enthusiastic Ray Stantz, the brilliant Egon Spengler, and the pragmatic Winston Zeddemore. Together, they formed a team armed not only with proton packs, but also with a quick wit and unyielding determination. From epic battles with the mischievous Slimer to face-offs against the ancient evils unleashed by the nefarious Gozer, every adventure was a thrilling roller coaster ride into the unknown. But it wasn't just about the ghostly encounters, it was about the friendship and banter between the Ghostbusters that endeared them to audiences. Get him! Oh, 
whether it was Peter's charming sarcasm, Ray's infectious enthusiasm, Egon's stoic brilliance or Winston's grounded presence, each team member brought their unique personality to the table. Now there was a cartoon that uniquely mixed music and heroism. Number 12, Gem and the Holograms. In the neon-lit streets of the 80s, music, fashion, and glamour collided in the dazzling world of Gem and the Holograms. I'm Gem, and these are the Holograms. At the center of the glittering stage was Jerrica Benton, a mild-mannered music executive by day and the electric rock star Gem by night. Alongside her bandmates, Kimber, Aiha, Shauna, and Rhea, Jem lit the stage with her bold style, infectious energy, and unforgettable performances. Each episode was packed with drama, romance, and music as Jem and the Holograms navigated the ups and downs of fame while fending off the schemes of their rivals, the conniving misfits. From sold-out concerts to high-stakes competitions, the stakes were always high, and the music was always electric. Through Jem and her friends' trials and tribulations, we learned valuable lessons about creativity, resilience, and the importance of following our dreams. The infectious melodies filled our ears and the vibrant colors danced across our screens. Gem wasn't just a cartoon, it was an anthem for a generation, inspiring us to embrace our uniqueness and pursue our passions with unbridled enthusiasm. Looking back, Gem and the Holograms remains a beloved part of our childhood. A reminder of a time when the music was loud, the fashion was bold, and the spirit of adventure was alive in our hearts. We're taking the nostalgic adventure to space with the Silverhawks. Number 13, Silverhawks. In the electrifying era of the 80s, the skies were filled with the futuristic gleam of Silverhawks. In the enchanting galaxy, law and order were upheld by a team of cybernetically enhanced heroes, the Silverhawks. Led by the valiant Quicksilver, this interstellar squadron included the daring Bluegrass, the ingenious Copper Kid, the fierce Steelheart, and the indomitable twins, Steel Will and Steelheart. Together, they soared through the cosmos in their powerful spacecraft, the Mirage defending the galaxy against the sinister Mon Asterisk star and his evil minions. Their incredible weapons and cybernetic abilities captivated our young hearts with their heroism and commitment to justice. From the enigmatic Mon Asterisk star to the quirky sidekick Seymour, each character added their unique flair to the series, making every episode a delightfully immersive experience. As the legendary theme song echoed through the cosmos and the Silverhawks embarked on yet another daring mission, we eagerly followed their journey excitedly. Silverhawks was a cosmic odyssey that fueled our imaginations and left us yearning for adventure among the stars. <laughs> 